I'm so grateful you could make it here at such short notice, Mr. Trunk. No trouble, Mrs. Bear. I'm often called in on this sort of emergency. You'd be surprised at the number of homeowners who fancy themselves as plumbers. And are they all as skillful as these two? <laughs> I've been in more floods than a toad in a rain barrel. Oh, you can flux some solder if you like, Edward. Thanks, Dad. I'll put that in the toolbox for you, Ed. Whoa! Oof. Edward is as strong as an elephant, Dad. Hmm. I might have guessed. Next time you catch your husband with that do-it-yourself look in his eye, you'd best give me a call. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Oof. Yes, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I always say. <laughs> and you certainly have gained something from this little venture. And it's due in 30 days. Yahoo! Come on, Edward! It's fun! But I might fall in. So, you're waterproof. Better to be safe than sorry, I always say. Don't be chicken. That gets him every time. Edward would never have fun if it wasn't for pals like me. <laughs> you should have taken more of a run at it. I'm soaked. Yes, but it was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Until I hit the water. Look out below! It's the professor. Rupert and Edward. <laughs> that was a pretty wild landing, Professor. A fundamental law of physics, my boy. What goes up must come down. Unfortunately, I came down like a wounded albatross. <laughs> Happily, my most recent encounter with the forces of gravity has left neither myself nor my new hot air balloon any the worse for wear. A few minor adjustments, and I'm ready once again to soar on high like an eagle. Would you be willing to take along a couple of passengers? A splendid idea, Rupert. Thanks, Professor. I think I'll just stay here on the ground. Oh, come on, Edward. It'll be fun. Rest assured, Edward. Thermoaeronautics is founded on the soundest of scientific principles. As you know, hot air rises, a most advantageous phenomenon. When you the air, the balloon is fueled by the gas in this cylinder. I simply give this rope a pull and... There you have it! We have loosed our earthly bonds, one might say. Others might say we've taken leave of our senses. Don't be such a worrier. Look! Hey, that's my house. It looks like an anthill from way up here. Wow, we can even see all the way to Lake Nutchester. Isn't this great, Edward? You bet. And just think, if it weren't for you, I'd still be stuck down there on the ground. You see? Nothing ventured, nothing... Uh-oh. Nothing, oh-oh? I'm afraid I must report a bit of an unforeseen difficulty, boys. The gas control valve seems to be stuck open. You give it a try, Edward. Uh-oh. Edward's as strong as an elephant. Yes, that would support the available visual data. I knew it. We're going to drop out of the sky like three eggs in a basket. On the contrary, it would appear that the sky's the limit, I'm afraid. There must be something here we can use to make a flare gun. I'm sorry, boys. I'm afraid I didn't plan on becoming carried away, so to speak. Never mind, Professor. No one could have expected something like this to happen. Speak for yourself, Rupert. If I had my way, I'd still be on the ground, safe and sound. Well, <laughs> we can't stay up here forever. Oh, I say. Quite right, Rupert. Quite right. As a matter of fact, according to my projections, our gas supply will be exhausted right about... now! Whoa! From now on, I'm never going...
going out of the house without a parachute. Brilliant suggestion, Edward. We can rig the balloon as a parasail. Move quickly, boys. Gravity waits for no one, you know. Perhaps you've noticed that I refer to this device as a parasail and not a parachute, as per your suggestion. While both share certain empirical attributes, the parasail should prove superior in aspects of maneuverability, which I think we would all agree will be particularly advantageous, given the... We agree, Professor! Of... Whatever you just said, we agree! Let's see if it works! Well, then, to use the vernacular... Let her rip! One. Amazing! That's the largest specimen of Dionea muscipula I've ever seen. Dio musca, what's it? More popularly called Venus's flytrap. Oh, isn't that the one that. Yow! Yes, indeed it is. Uh, uh. Hmm, a genus of the family Muscacia. I hope it's edible. Oh, I should say not, my boy. <gasps> Unless you actually like bananas. Never cared for them myself. You might have to develop a taste for them, Professor. I think we should explore the island to see what else we can find. I think you should gather more bananas while I collect wood for a signal fire. There's no telling how long we'll be stranded here. Good old Edward. He'll never change. You shouldn't worry so much. Better safe than sorry. Look at it this way, Edward. What better place to be stranded than paradise? Yeah, well, I'd just as soon be... <gasps> Look out! Yeah! <laughs> hey, get off me! Let go! Come back here with my scoop off! Wait! <laughs> Trust the youngsters to get up to some sort of monkey business. Come on, Rupert. We should go back to camp. But what about my scarf? Let him have it. There's no telling what sort of... Hey! <laughs> Get him! Aha! This will do nicely. By the time the boys get back, I'll have a nice pot of sassafras tea on the go. Oh, drat! Interrupted by an unfortunate turn of meteorological events. Oh, I suppose in the meantime I get... <laughs> you there! Cease this delinquent behaviour immediately! Unhand our lunch, you pack of purloining primates! Oh. Give someone an opposable thumb, and they think they can take all kinds of liberties. My sentiments exactly. <gasps> now, perhaps you can explain why you've taken the liberty of setting your over the fall foot on my island. But, but, but I, I, uh, th that is to say, I, uh, oh dear. There he goes. This way, Root. <laughs> now we've got him. I don't think we should go in there. This old temple could fall down any minute. <laughs> I am not. Stand back, Rupert. There's our stuff. Oh! 
I hope for your sake this is not an unsolicited sales call, because whatever you're selling, I don't want any. Oh, no, I most definitely am not a travelling salesman. Your Majesty, please accept my most sincere apologies for dropping in unannounced, as they say. Well, since you're groveling, apology accepted. Thank you, Your Majesty. It isn't often I have the honor of meeting royalty. And it is even less often that I am shown the proper level of respect befitting one of my kingly position. Well, I can see that you will set a fine example for this unruly lot. A fine example indeed. You will set a fine example, my friend. Seize him! This vine seems sturdy enough to... Rupert! Wow! Look at this! I get the funny feeling they're trying to tell us something. Like what? Like... Look out! <laughs> place didn't want visitors. Maybe the next time you come across some ancient ruins in the jungle, you'll look for a welcome map. Don't move! I don't like the look of this. Yeah, pretty sloppy stonework. I don't think this is a case of faulty workmanship. Like my dad always says, if you're gonna build something, build it right. Good thinking, Edward. Whoever built this place would need a way to get down here and make repairs without getting themselves killed. Oh, I get it. They'd have to build... A service tunnel. Brilliant! These pipes must supply the flammable gas to the booby trap. Flammable gas. If we're lucky, we can use it to get home. Aw, not another balloon ride. Sunlight! Maybe we're already outside the temple walls. Only one way to find out. <clears throat> no, nope. it's just a... Wow! What's a wow? Take a look! Isn't it amazing? <laughs> a relative of yours? Not likely. My family are all conservative dressers. We can come back and explore later. You see, Edward, if you'd stayed behind, you would have missed out on an incredible discovery. Stand back, Rupert. <coughs> <laughs> you look like that statue's baby brother. Very fun, huh? A chew! Here's the gas well. We'll have to go and get the balloon. No, we won't. It looks like it's being delivered. Please accept my apologies, Your Majesty. It's the Professor. Isn't there something I can do to make amends? Oh, there most certainly is, Professor. I don't think the Professor's being invited in for tea. We've got to help him. Yes, but we won't get far unless we can get the balloon working. Do you think we can hook it up somehow? No problem, Rupert. Basic plumbing. I hope this holds. We're ready. Well, 
old professor. It is now your turn to be the laughing stock. How about a dance number? A jig or a waltz, perhaps? You decide. Oh, no. They're going to make him dance. That's not so bad. Wait till you see how he dances. Dancing really isn't my forte. I seem to have two left feet, as they say. And I say, dance! <laughs> now we're cooking, Professor. <laughs> Your Majesty, please, oh! <laughs> For your finale, oh, Professor. No. Please. We've got to disconnect that statue. We don't have time. There must be miles of pipe running through this old temple. You go and make sure the balloon is ready to launch as soon as the Professor and I come running. How are you going to get him out of there? I'll think of something. I hope. Oh, no. Wait for us, you stupid balloon. Wouldn't a formal written apology suffice? I'm afraid I have to set an example that my dim-witted subjects will understand. Now! This way, Professor! Run! We've got to... Get... away? Yow! The balloon's all set, Rupert. What? <gasps> Let us go! I hope my dad doesn't find out about this. It's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four I to... I command you to halt! What? I am, uh, Edward Fire God, Lord of this temple! <laughs> Prisoners, or, uh, you'll be sorry, you fools! He's nothing but an him! Oh, oh, ah, oh! Foster! Ah, oh, oh! Stay back, or I'll, uh, uh, uh! Uh oh. Shoot! <laughs> Seize them! Run for it! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> oh no! Open these doors, you furry ruffians! What? <laughs> Now, 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 Professor, couldn't we discuss this? How's this for a finale? You bullying baboon! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
We were goners. The proverbial close shave, I would say. I'm sorry, Edward. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have gotten into this. That's for sure. Thanks, Rupert. What? Did you see the look on that mean old cheese face? <laughs> I guess we showed him. We were nearly barbecued. Will you be going ballooning again tomorrow, Professor? Most emphatically, no, Edward. I plan on spending the next few months tending to the garden. Well, then maybe Rupert and I could borrow the balloon. Count me out. It's just better to be safe than sorry. Oh, come on, Rupert. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> <laughs>